What's going on, cryptocurrency universe? It's the Bitcoin Miner here, guys, and I hope everybody's doing well this evening. I wanted to drop a quick video just as I was checking the mining profitabilities this evening. I realized how profitable it was to mine on my CPU. And in fact, it is more profitable to mine on your CPU right now than it is to mine on a GPU dollar for dollar. So I, let's take a look at this really quick. We're comparing a 3950X, a uh, Ryzen 3950X. You can pick one up for about $650, $620 these days. Um, it makes $1.79 a day. At, at before cost i'm using 10 cents a kilowatt and it profits a dollar 43 per day so let's compare that to some of the gpus so we do know that this chip costs about 620 dollars you can pick them up all day long uh for 620 dollars in stock <laughs> in stock that's the best part uh um now let's compare something that's going to be in that price range as well I think a 3080 Ti, yeah, those are up there. They make a little bit more. Let's see, a 67 XT seems to be right in the range. So, yep, they're right around $800, $900. So we can get it in stock for $900. So, okay, let's see what else we can compare this to. I've already kind of pre-selected a few, uh, which was the A2000. Did I do the 56? Let's go down. Let's see, a 5600 XT makes $1.65. So your CPU makes more than a 5600 XT. So let's just go, and here's the A2000. So the A2000... Oops, highlighting everything. Uh, the A2000 is making a dollar fifty-nine a day, compared to a dollar seventy-nine a day. And the A2000, if you can get your hands on them, are right around the same price as that card or the uh, CPU. So it's absolutely incredible how profitable it is to mine on your cpu and the best part about it is is varus is a 50 50 percent proof of stake and 50 percent proof of work network so the coins you mine you can actually stake and earn a passive income it's about 10 percent it does fluctuate but that's a something else for another video so not only are you making uh this amount but you can stake it and earn an additional 10 percent and on top of that, you can actually get a whole nother 10% that this calculator, 8 to 10%, that this calculator does not account for. And what do I mean by that extra 8 to 10% that the calculator is not accounting for? Well, I am talking about ID purchases. So not only are the block size 12 Varus, you have a chance to get a lottery of 100 Varus all the way down to 20 additional Varus for every block. Every time somebody purchases an ID, and there's other network fees as well, and there's a lot of things being upgraded. Once those upgrades come in, there's a lot of DeFi network fees that'll be able, uh, so this whole thing is gonna get thrown out the window in a good way, uh, in the sense that you're gonna have so many more op opportunities once DeFi hits but now we're taking that number and we're able to add just merely eight to ten percent to it uh because of the id purchases on average and you're not to say you're not going to get lucky and then get a hundred varus um it, you know it's kind of hard to say so you know it's and it's really hard for these calculators to account that in unless you're in the network you don't really know that so you just skim these calculators and don't realize there's another ten percent here and then there's another ten percent uh, by staking it, uh, which we can go back over here uh, and take a kind of quick look at that um, for a staking perspective. You know, if you were to, uh, here's like a cell phone. I will dive into this a little later on, but here's a cell phone investment of $14,000. Let's say you put 7,000 into mining with cell phones, you would get a thousand mega hashes, uh, which will give you 35 Varus a day versus staking, which 7,000 into buying it, uh, would give you almost four Varus a day. As you can see, it's very profitable and advantageous to get into the mining. 
um, side of it now the network is still balancing out so as you can tell and then like as an example I told you that CPU mining is even more profitable or, uh, cell phone mining is even more profitable than CPU mining so quick math six hundred and twenty dollars is what the 5950x was cost um, you can times divide that by 30 because you can get used cell phones granted they're used they're cracked screens you can pay more if you want it's up to you uh, you can get about 20 cell phones those 20 cell phones will give you 100 mega hashes that's twice the mega hashes for the same money as the 5950x now there's a lot of caveats to this um, you know one it's more devices to maintain it's a little different you can't use it as a daily driver um, so it kind of depends on your use case and what you want to and that's another video as well so hopefully we'll have these videos out and don't forget guys if you have questions ask in the comments i try to respond and make sure to join the various discord they are great in the discord i'm really busy got a family and stuff but i try to do my best but discord guys mining channel trading channel it's all uh, great places to help you guys learn and get into this a little bit more um, I wanted to continue comparing some of these graphics cards you know what they make so like a 6600 XT right around the same price 600 650 and on this list 6600 XT down here at the bottom makes a dollar 32 for the same price as that CPU Oh, come on guys cpus now are more profitable than gpu mining i don't know how long this is going to last yes it's one of my favorite projects that i think has an immense possibility to really go much further than this and this is what's cool about this this project is privacy it has DeFi, decentralized finance that's mineable i don't know of any other project that's mineable that has decentralized finance uh, it has an entire ID NFTs. So we call them, they call them IDs uh, instead of NFTs because they are so much more than just a non fungible token. And you guys will have to create videos about that and try to teach you more about it. But this video is to go into about why or, you know, what's more profitable and what I think about it. Now, we can kind of go over here to Coin Gecko and look over at the chart briefly and you can see what i mean is this project has really come out this is the news on what was coming into the network and as it's being built and tested on the test net uh you can see this and then with the recent fud we just you know had within the entire market uh we're starting to see the price correction just coming up uh now as people are starting to realize it and there's some really good major opportunities but guys i want to keep this video kind of short i just wanted to cover uh, your gpu mining versus cpu mining and cell phone mining and really kind of take a look at the opportunities that are out there um, as you guys are thinking about building your gaming systems or setting up your mining systems or just building a whole mining farm i mean you're still spending 900 dollars for a 36 uh, what is this card exactly a um, 3060 not even the ti and they make a dollar forty-two versus this. Now, I will say this as a closing thought: um, there is plenty of liquidity for mining all of this. And I wouldn't go building a ten million dollar farm. You guys have to judge those type of things. You know, the amount of liquidity versus the amount of hardware you're going into. But there's plenty and nothing to worry about, and anything on a medium, small scale. So I really do appreciate you guys checking out the video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, like the video, join the Discord, and stay tuned, guys, for a lot more various videos and a lot more educational stuff coming out. The next evolution in decentralized tech is here. Veris is a truly free, open source blockchain protocol designed for privacy, safety, open participation, and unlimited scalability. Decentralized financial and communications tech that can scale to a new internet of value and data exchange. Build with us, Veris. Truth and privacy for all. Learn more and join the conversation on Discord.